Some cabinets don't have this, but this is the next step up. This is called a cabinet seal kit. What it does, it goes around the dishwasher to deaden the more of the noise that the dishwasher might make. It's going to go around here, we're going to mount it, we're going to show you what it looks like after it's done. Very simple to do. What's most important when we do this is the dishwasher in the front is level. So you might, I have a two foot level because I use this for many purposes. But a homeowner can buy what they call a torpedo level. It's about a foot long. You can rest it right on top of here and show you which way the legs have to go to get it level, which we're working on now. And right now it looks pretty much on the money. So we're going to get our adjustments in, and I'm going to show you the next step, how to secure, secure the wire and put in the line for the hose to make the water work. If you don't have granite tops, if you have regular mica tops, they are brackets you can throw a little quarter-inch screws in, and that will prevent the dishwasher from coming forward once you open up the dishwasher and you have a lot of dishes in here, you can't have a tendency to tip the dishwasher forward. But if you do have granite tops, make sure you order your side-mounted brackets. Right now we're adjusting the legs in the front to get this as close as possible to the granite. Very easy to get a pair of pliers and you tighten it clockwise, the legs go down to the floor and it raises the dishwasher higher. I like to hook the water up first because by doing the electrical and everything else, you might think the water's okay and it might have a slight drip to it. So what I like to do is hook the water, turn the water on, and then we got a half hour to hook up the drain and the electric then we notice if there's any drips out of the water on or not. So let's do that first. We're doing that right now. Right now we're hooking up the water line. The only problem is you have to lay on your stomach to do it. If they give you not too much space to do it in. But it just takes a little time and a little patience and it'll be done. Now that we got a water line connected, we're going to turn the water on and make sure there's no leaks. I like to do that first before we finish the dishwasher drain and the electric. Give us some time to see if there's any drifts. Water line's on. And right now, we're getting up there with a little towel. If you put a little piece of paper towel underneath and just leave it under there dry, the slightest strip would show the discoloration of the paper towel. Right now, we're just checking. Good. Then the next step we're going to do is hook up the electric. Okay? It's right now we're going to test the electric again because somebody in the household could have said, oh, my TV's not working. That was hooked up to this. And turn the breaker on, then you're in for a surprise. Clear. Right now he's tested it, and it's nice and clear. Now he's going to continue hooking up the wire. Okay, so now we have to lock, slide the wire through the hole, lock the Romex connector with the supplied nut. Once you've done that, we're ready to connect our obviously white to white, black to black with the wire nut. Alright, so put the wire nut over the corresponding colors, black to black, white to white, tighten that nice. Once you have that there, you have to put all the wires together. Since the power is off, don't be afraid. And get them in the area so that they will all fall inside the box when we put the cover on, which will be our next step. Once you have all the wires secured inside the box, slide the box over. Insert the screw, which is on this side. Now I secured the box in, just tightening the screw in. Some of these have a ground wire, which means you may have three wires, the black, the white, and a green one. If so, you connect that to the green wire that's provided on the dishwasher so that you're fully grounded. This is grounded to the box, 
so we don't need any further ground. What we're doing right now is we're taking the discharge hose and we're going to connect it to our drain with our clamp, which he has on there already, and then we're going to tighten it down. Make sure it's all the way on, nice and snug, and make sure when you use the nut driver, you turn it on nice and tight so we have no leakage. And this thing is almost ready to go. Make sure when you're putting that on, be careful on the T, because it's not really braided very strongly, and it can break off, so just take your time doing it. Okay, right now is, uh, it's going down to the panel. We'll get the electric going. We're going to check for everything, then we're going to go through a cycle with the machine. Make sure the dishwasher is working really well. Okay, uh, the dishwasher is ready to go. I have a limited electrical license. I'm allowed to touch certain things in electric. Hooking up a dishwasher, a constant hot, things like that. No big stuff. No outlets, no currents, no panel. Check your state laws. Every state's differently. If you're a homeowner, you're allowed to do your own electric in certain states. Every township is different. Please check your local codes, and it's okay for you to do it so no one gets hurt. And if you're handy enough, you shouldn't have a problem like we did this one here. We're about to run this. Just give us a few minutes, and I'll see you in a little bit. We opened it up. We're going to do a pre-wash, let it run for a cycle, make sure that the discharge hose is running good, make sure the drain, the water supply is good. Just started right up. Okay, it's starting to fill water, and it's going to be running. We didn't put the bottom panels on yet, because we want to make sure there's nothing leaking at the pumps, the drains, and it works really well. Now we're putting the covers on. Everything's running real good. Nice clean job. We checked all the water to make sure there's no leaking. Now we're putting the two pieces on. You can hear the dishwasher draining already. It's already going through its cycle. This is another soundproofing so you don't hear the motor. This would go first and then the cover would go second which we're going to install right now. There's a left and right indicator on this plate to show which way is the right way to install it. The lower part with the insulator goes all the way down to the ground and then you're ready to screw your panel in. And the installation is complete.